my channel. Um, for those of you who are new here, I'm Rachel. I am a mom of two and I also work outside the home full time. On uh, my channel, I post you know mommy videos, cooking, grocery hauls, uh, trunk club unboxings, and now I want to get more into doing kind of these home and room tours because after being in our house for a year and a half, we're finally like settling in and you know actually making it feel homey now. So I want to be able to show you what we've done and how we're kind of uh, revamping the rooms here. So today I'm going to be showing you a nursery tour. Uh, you've probably seen this background before in some videos, but this is Justice, who is our nearly eight-month-old son's nursery. He actually just moved into this nursery a couple of weeks ago, so we still have a few more things that we want to do to complete it, but I figured it's relatively clean right now, so even though it's not completely perfect, I'm just going to show it all to you. So without further ado, here's Justice's room. Let's get going. The lighting's going to be super funky in this and probably the sound as well, <laughs> just as I'm moving in and around. So this is the outside of Justice's room. The first thing that you see is this adorable sign that says Little Man Cave that my friend Andy, who is Justice's godmother, made for him. There's a few other pieces inside the room that she also made, um, and we just really love it. It adds like a super cute Pinteresty touch to the room. And you'll be able to tell, obviously, throughout the room, but the theme of his nursery is kind of like um, wilderness hunter's lodge type of theme. All right, so let's go inside. wrong your mommy's talking to the camera baby all right so the first major thing in this room is this shiplap wall that my wonderful husband made for me this is all they sold them in packs at Lowe's of like reclaimed barn wood and then he just used like a nail gun to shiplap the entire thing and then we have this compass rose as well that we got at a local antique store on the ground um, we have this bear rug that used to terrify Eloise. Uh, we thought it was super cartoony looking, but I mean, I guess it's still kind of freaky. It is 1000% fake. Then this little guy, this woodchuck. Um, it, Ellie has one of these, it's the rock by, um, like rocking horse things and it plays very obnoxious music but those are fun it has the little seat so Justice can actually sit in it now all of the outlets in this room we got at Hobby Lobby they're adorable but they're actually super annoying I don't know that I would recommend them because they're like too narrow so we have to get another power strip if we want to plug things in that have like a wider plug shut this so you can actually see the curtains we searched forever for these curtains. I forget the name of the place where we actually ended up ordering them, but they are so nice now. They're very plush. They're not completely blackout, but they are pretty thick and good quality. So they do make the rim pretty dark and give it kind of a red tint when they're all closed. Um, and they're just super, super soft, and they're exactly what I wanted with the buffalo plaid. Here's his crib. Um, obviously, we do not keep the stuffed animals in there when he's sleeping in there. Just put them in there for now. I forget the brand name of this. I'm being horrible. Everything will be linked down below or, like, the names of what things are down below because I'm not going to be able to remember any of it right now. This was Eloise's crib, and... Now it's his. Like I said, he's only been sleeping in it for a couple of weeks now, but he's doing pretty good. And then the crib sheet we got at Target. We also got this little guy, the little wolf head at Target. Um, and all of these curtain rods we got from Amazon. And then we just have some little toys over here in this little bin from Target. Another little sign. This is a chalkboard sign that Andy made. This little table. So that is a little nightlight that Andy made. Buck Buck Moose. 
and we have his white noise machine. I'm obsessed with this thing. I got super spoiled with it when he was in our room. And then this little table we got from the store at home. This chair is so comfortable. We got it from Wayfair. I believe it was around $250. Um, it's super comfy. I can like sprawl out in it. So that I absolutely love. It's like faux leather, but it's super comfy and actually like pretty plush in there. Then his little laundry basket we got from at home as well. Those curtains again. Here we just have two little, that's crooked, uh, two little decorative pieces that we got at Hobby Lobby. And then again, um, this little outlet or light switch cover is from Hobby Lobby and we have his initials up here that Andy painted then for his closet what we did was we actually took the doors off of his closet to make the room feel a little bit bigger he's in the smallest bedroom in our house so we wanted it to feel a little bit more open we didn't want all this furniture kind of crowding the room and him not having a lot of room when he starts crawling and walking around to be able to actually play in here. So what we did was we took both doors out of the closet and then painted inside the closet and put the dresser right inside here to just make it feel like it's all part of one big room. We have his diaper pail. It is an Ubi diaper pail. I love it. It was Ellie's and now Justice uses it. Then up here we have his changing pad. Um, this cover we got off Amazon. It came in a two-pack. That'll be linked. And then I just have this little box from Target. I keep his diapers up here. Just have some diaper cream and a little toy to keep him distracted during diaper changes because he is at that fun age where he tries to flip over while getting his diaper changed. The dresser is from the same set as his crib. And then I'll just quickly show you how I organize it. In this top drawer, I keep extra wipes and usually extra diapers if I have them. I need to open that new box up. In this drawer, I just keep socks and burp cloths, shoes. He has like some suspenders and little hats. I have pants in here. He needs more pants. <laughs> and then in here, I have all of his onesies so these are long sleeve onesies short sleeve onesies and then these are just shirts down here is where i keep his sleepers and then the last drawer i keep uh blankets so these are like little swaddle blankets and then wearable blankets down here he just has some things hanging up over here that's some of Ellie's toys up there that I need to organize and then on this side just some little jackets and warmer things hanging and the last thing which sorry if the lighting is getting screwed up is this chandelier it is a faux antler chandelier that we got from Cabela's uh, Ellie also has a chandelier in her room so we thought it'd be cute if they each had their own little versions of chandeliers he does also have a um, baby cam. We use a Nest camera for our baby cam. We, I had been traveling with the kids for the past week to go and visit my parents up in Massachusetts. And so Noel moved the baby camera to put it on our baby chicks. We got five baby chicks last week. I'm gonna insert some video here because they're adorable. Here they are. So he moved the baby cam to check on the chicks while he was at work. So we need to move that back in here for justice now. And then the last thing that we have in this room is our smoke detector. It's kind of weird to be talking about a smoke detector, but we also use Nest for our smoke detectors. And it's also just like a carbon monoxide. What is carbon monoxide detector as well? Um, they're just good. I like them. <laughs> it's nice to be able to have something that if I'm at work, I know I can check on it and like get alerts through my phone as well. So that is everything in Justice's room. If 
you'd like to see more of our house, leave me a comment down below and let me know which room you'd like me to give a tour of next. Uh, I have previously done a tour of Eloise's room. That's my daughter. She's almost three years old. So check that video out as well. Um, and yeah, let me know what tour you want to see next. I kind of love doing these because it forces me to clean up the rooms. All right, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you like uh, room tours. And make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss the next one. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.